Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to understand about the Databricks architecture. So we have already covered the Azure Data Factory, where we have learned like how actually we can create a data pipeline, where we were extracting a data from a different uh, database, and uh, we are we are trying to store into a uh, data lake storage, Azure Blob storage, and all that everything we have seen about the Data Factory. Now let us try to understand where actually we can use a Databricks. Okay. So we have to understand the four step. One is the ingestion. The one is the ingestion step, then second one is the store step, the third one is the process, and the final is the final is the serve. Okay, we have to understand this first. Based on that, we will try to understand. So, in ingestion step, what actually it comes into the picture? ADF. Okay, with the help of the ADF, what actually we were doing? We were actually extracting a data from a different. And finally, we were trying to store into a data lake storage. That actually we were we have already seen, right? Data lake storage. We were actually trying to store it. Okay, we were trying to ingest it. We were trying to store it. This already we have seen it. Now the third step, the process, and the fourth step is the serve. In the serve, it's like uh, uh, let us try to understand. So suppose uh, your stakeholders wants a final report where they actually want to analyze their business so they want uh, the final report in the form of the visualization so suppose you want you have to give the power bi report okay or suppose you have to give the tableau report okay so in that kind of the case this is the final step where we are actually doing the serving in the form of the visualization similarly if you are um, looking for any machine learning model so that also comes into the picture in the serve step the final serving model now let us try to understand what is the process step in the process step only the databricks comes into the picture now databricks comes into the picture here only process step now let us try to understand now we have a data in a azure data lake storage okay now we have the data in a azure data lake storage now with the help of the databricks only we actually try to uh, build our analytical requirement suppose you have an analytical requirement where uh, the stakeholder wants to know and they want to analyze the whole business like they want to know like how many um, users we have how many users are using your product how many users are actually active on that particular month week so this kind of the analytical requirement if actually they want to know and they wanted to know in the form of the power bi so what actually we do we actually use a databricks under the databricks we use a spark sql okay the pi spark right pi spark even we can use a scala so this all the language actually you can use under the in a this all actually we can use in a databricks okay in a databricks we have a several of even the you can use a r language also okay so in a databricks we can use a spark sql pi spark scala r with the help of this language actually we try to we try to <coughs> build the analytical reports and for that we have to do some kind of the data cleanings data cleaning based on the our requirement we have to build the data sets this all the kind of the thing actually we try to do in a databricks in environment and space only okay so here only the databricks comes into the picture even if you are building a machine learning model so if you had to prepare your model if you had to train your model so this all the things we actually we do in a databricks environment only okay when we'll do a practical we'll try to understand more about it i hope you got a high level idea where actually we use a databricks and all okay thank you thank you in this video